Hi guys, in this video I'm going to discuss, as promised, uh, my thoughts on serving with uh, long pips or serving with anti-spin. Uh, I'm really going to just look at sort of the, the reasons for, the reasons against, uh, give a little bit of uh, an explanation on why I personally don't serve um, so much with my long pips or with, my, with the anti-spin, uh, but also just mention why it still may not be a bad idea in your situation to um, use long pip or anti-spin anti serves. So to, to get into it, before we discuss too much of the whys and wherefores, uh, I'll just recap a couple of the things that make up a good serve so that we can look at it um, in relevance to talking about serving with anti-spin or to, to serving with long pips. So when we're talking about serving, we want to do good serves. Okay, that's the criteria, whether it's with inverted or with, with the pips or the anti-spin. But what makes up a good serve? Well, there's, there's three or four, I think, basic things that we're looking for. Uh, firstly, we don't want to be attacked um, unexpectedly by our opponent. So we don't want him to get in attacking us powerfully unless we want him to. So we want to be controlling the point. Uh, we also uh, want to be if possible, setting up our patterns, whether that's setting up our third ball attacks, our fifth ball attacks, or even setting up our counter attacks so that we can put the ball, serve it, get into the point where we want to maybe move the ball around, let him attack, but let him attack where we want him to attack. So just setting up the patterns that we want to play, whatever they may be. So our serve should help us do that. Uh, hopefully, to a certain extent, it should also be deceptive. And I think that's where, to a great extent, the, uh, the meat of this matter is, the real, the, the real point of it is, is, does the long pips or the anti-spin make up a deceptive serve? So let's have a, a little bit of a look at these sort of criteria and just, and just discuss them through. And you'll see why, as we talk, why I don't use it very much, but it still may be not a bad idea for you. So, in terms of making the serve tight or hard to attack, can the long pips or anti-spin make the serve tight or hard to attack? Now, let's for assume for a second that we're not talking, it doesn't depend so much on your opponent here, it just depends on the quality of the serve itself. So, yeah, you can make the serve tight and hard to attack um, with a long pip or with an anti-spin serve. You can sort of like just dab it, um, you know, it's not going to be easy to get in on. Um, you know, you can serve a, a long, fast one that's that's tough to kind of handle. So yeah, it, it can do that. However, it's probably in terms of that ability to keep it tight and difficult to attack. It's not going to do anything better that your inverted side really can't do. Um, mainly because your inverted side could probably do everything the long pips or anti-spin can do, but can do it with some more spin variation, some more spin deception. So in terms of actual just tightness of, of the ball, um, I think there's no real argument, big argument in favour of using long pips or anti-spin just to keep the ball or keep the serve tight and hard to attack. I think actually it's, you, you, in that respect it's better to use the inverted side because you can get more spin, um, make your opponent take more care with your serves. So yeah, I don't think that's an argument for using long pips or anti-spin. Uh, in terms of setting up your attack, that's going to depend a little bit on the quality of your opponent. And we're starting to get to the, the point to the points where these are the reasons why I don't. The opponents that I generally play who are you know not, not necessarily international level, but a fairly good level in terms of Australian standard, um, and around the say the thousand mark in the world type thing, these guys have no problem handling the long pips when I serve, uh, or even the anti-spin when I serve. If I'm trying to serve a short ball, um, they know there's not really much spin being generated. Um, they know it's going to float off the bat, so they, they deal with that quite easily. The only way I could probably get um, some sort of setup for my attack would be if I managed to look like I was going to serve a short one and I whipped in a fast one and then I might get away with it because the change in pace might throw them off 
and they might just not be able to react in time. But for standard sort of shortish serves, they know it's going to be flow. Uh, I don't have the ability um, to generate a great deal of spin using my long pips. Um, so for me, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Now obviously, with your anti-spin with your long pips, if you can, if you can generate a great deal of spin when serving, then you've got more options than I do. Because then what you've now got is you've got a, a tightish serve with some variation that can be spinny or not spinny, and the long pips, serving with the long pips or the anti-spin would make much more sense then. Because now you've got the inverted side, you've got the long pip side, you've got variation on both sides, so you know that, that makes a lot more sense. It just doesn't work for me. Um, and I, I don't know, I haven't met a lot of people who can really spin off a serve with the long pips. So um, perhaps it's something to work towards that you could try working towards with your brush. Um, but for me, I, I just personally find that I've got probably things that I could be working on in my game that are more important than trying to learn to spin a long pip serve. Um, and so I'd rather do that than try and learn to do it. Um, it's just a matter of priorities for me. Okay. Deception, just in general deception, uh, as I'm leading on from there. It's hard to be deceptive off the serve with a long pip serve. There are certain things you can do, sure, but it kind of depends on the quality of the opponent, um, as, I, as I said again. So at a lower level, serving with your inverted and then maybe coming up, twiddling and serving. So the old sort of, the red's the inverted, black's the long pip. The old kind of hide it behind the back and come back with it, or hide it under the table, come down with the red, go down, and then come up. That's a, that's a variation that you may get away with at the lower levels. Um, you may also get some arguments from people complaining that you're hiding your bat, um, which is actually perfectly legal, provided the ball, it's only the ball that has to be above the level of the table, not the bat. So you can hide your bat, Behind you, under the table, you can twiddle it during service, twiddle it during here. All of that's okay, so don't let an opponent tell you different. Now, but that, that's a deceptive move that will work better at lower levels than it does at the level I'm playing. So, it, it, again, it's something that at beginning level, that could be quite effective. So it could be a good reason to serve with your long pips. Uh, it just gets less effective as you move up the ranks. Uh, and other deceptive kind of things that you'll get here is that if your opponent's not paying a lot of attention and you're serving with this and you go to that, he may think it's deceptive because you've suddenly got no spin. Okay, so that can be a deceptive move with the long pips. And if that works against your opponent, it's a good reason to keep serving with the long pips. Or if you start out with the long pips and you give a really big heavy motion, but actually actually don't produce much spin. If your opponent's playing for the heavy spin and there's none, well that's deceptive. Uh, again, it works better at lower levels and gets less effective higher up. So that's kind of deceptive. Uh, at the level that I'm playing, um, which is kind of that Australian level, uh, what I find is, I can't personally do this, but one of my friends who plays in my state team has uh, had a lot of use for it. And, and it worked quite well for him, was he would sort of just stand here like this with the, the inverted side, throw the ball, and he would only throw it, he wouldn't give it this much of a look, he'd give them the six inches and not much more. And he'd just basically serve and really give a very good fast serve. And I don't have that skill, but he really could make it go whoosh, and what would happen is the pace would be quick, which would, they would kind of be expecting, but the bounce with the long pips is different from what they're expecting, the kick coming from what looks like a top spin serve with the inverted. So they almost always played for the kick, didn't get any off the long pips, and they would quite often miss the ball um, or, or really miss hit it. And it worked very, very well for him. And we're talking him playing against people who are like, um, 800 to 1,000 in the world, so they're, they're no beginners. But he did, it, 
Pike Gill was a very good fast serve. It wasn't slow at all. It was very quick, very deep, um, but it made it effective. Um, no way I could do it. I'd have to practice that a lot. I just don't have that. But it can work, and even at this level, I mean, that's pretty high level for that to work. Um, and that's a deception in that it's coming at them very fast, and it's less spin, and they just don't have time. So there are, there are still some reasons to serve at that level, even at a very high level, with the long pips, provided you're willing to do the work and practice it. Um, and I'm not with that particular serve. Uh, I guess I just, maybe, maybe I could, but I'd have to take a long time to learn it, and I'd always be a little bit scared that my opponent's going to read it and ram it back down my throat. Whereas the person um, who's doing the serve, the one Giovanni who's got the good serve, has also a very good block. Um, so he, he never cared if they did hit it, he'd be able to block it. So it worked for his game. As a defender, it didn't work so well for me. I really didn't want to be standing up here having them go and whack at me if, if I stuffed up the serve. Um, so it, it depends on the, on the player a little bit. And that probably just gets me to the last point I wanted to discuss in terms of this whole long pip anti-spin, should I serve, should I not serve. A lot of it really just comes down to um, what your opponent likes or doesn't like. How is he handling it? And I guess if you never try it, you'll never find out. Um, you know, so if you do something with the long pips try serve and you see your opponent makes mistakes with it, um, then by all means you've got to keep going with it. Don't, don't stop. Keep messing around serving with the long pips and giving him some looks. If he handles it very easily, well, you know to probably um, don't try so much with the long pips. Uh, every opponent is different, especially at, um, probably not as we get towards advanced. They're different in styles, but you won't find a lot of gaps, a lot of chinks in their armour that you can exploit. Certainly not on simple serves like that, generally. But at the lower levels, there's a wide range of people in that game that people will have some strong shots and some very poor shots. And quite often, that can be one of their poor shots, maybe a, a serve with the long pips that looks spinny or, you know, under the table. You don't know, it could be. And it's worthwhile because although they may be really good at this stuff, the top spin, you throw in a sudden little serve off the, off the pips and they, they completely stuff it up. How would you know unless you try it? So I guess in, in that respect what I would say is that as you're going to move up the ranks and you're going to improve, 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 you will probably find serving with the long pips, serving with the anti-spin becomes less effective. Unless you're willing to put a lot of work in to really develop something special with them. And I, I do mean a fair amount of work to make that, make that happen for you. You then have to decide if that's the best use of your time. Okay, is the best use of an hour a week developing that special serve with the with the long pips? Is that the best use of your time, or could you be better off practicing your forehand technique or your block or rolling? Uh, that's hard decisions, um, and I, I can't answer that to you for sure. Uh, it, it's something that we all have to decide. But it's a trade-off. If you've got limited time, there's only so much you can do, you have to decide, or try to decide, what's going to give you the best effect. Um, the thing with practicing forehand technique is if you improve your forehand technique, you're going to get an immediate improvement. Or if you improve your rolling or hitting with the long pips, you'll get an immediate improvement. I don't know that there's a guarantee that if you improve your serve with the long pips, you're going to get a guaranteed result because some people will handle it better than others. So it, it's, um, that's why I would lean possibly to practice other things than trying to develop something sneaky with a long pip serve. But that, that's just me. Um, feel free to, to go ahead. But yeah, the, really the last thing is just you're looking for something your opponent doesn't like in that serve, and it's worth testing out. It will get short, less effective as you, as you move up the ranks, um, but it can still be very effective at the low to intermediate levels, and at the higher level, if you've got something special, can still be uh, a good point winner or a good point setter upper um, if, you've got, if you've worked on it and you've got it to develop to a higher degree. Um, for the rest of us, as you start to get up higher, unless you've worked on it a lot, you'll probably find, like myself, 
you start to use it less and less and less because in essence it's not really deceptive to your opponent they know what's coming and the inverted side in this respect is more versatile it can do pretty much everything the long pips does with more spin variation so it's is it worth the risk i guess of stuffing up a long pip serve so yeah it's kind of fallen out of my game over the years um, to a certain extent uh, so i guess that's my thoughts um in a nutshell really uh, Nothing wrong with them, it's just uh, it gets a little bit less effective and you may have to work on something special if you want to keep using it up the ranks. Uh, and it then just depends on where you fall and also what your opponent does or doesn't like um, to a certain extent too. Okay, so don't be afraid to, to give it a go. Uh, but if your opponent does handle it, put it on the shelf for that match and get back to your normal serving. Okay.